My grandfather started the farm. And uh, we've been farming here ever since. For the last couple of years, we haven't had the crop production that we're used to when we have adequate water. We're struggling. I've had to sell some property to try to keep in business. That little bit of land that we did sell was very emotional thing to do. It's, it's land that I worked with my dad and it's gone. Growing up in Stratford was a wonderful thing as a child. The canals were always filled with water. We could spend a whole day at the canal trying to catch crawdads, hunting for frogs, fishing. We'd ride our bikes off into the river, and we would swim in it. No. Nowadays, there's no water there. Well, I grew up in Yemen. We live in over there, really hard. So that's why we come to the United States. First we moved to Oakland, but I, I didn't feel like a home there. I want to move to a smaller city. That's when I find Stratford. I really like living here, but sometimes it gets hard with the work. Since the dry start, we lost half the business. And most of the people they come to my store, they work for the farmers. Hello. Most of the farmers, they get broke. The workers, they go somewhere else to find work. I really feel bad about the people. They have a rough time. This makes me sad. Because we welcome by all these people's here. Being able to work with the ground and with nature has been very satisfying. But uh, of late, when the water's become scarce, we don't get a lot of help from the people who want the food that we grow. This year, probably two thirds to half of our farm has not been put into cultivation because of lack of water. Without food production, there's no jobs out in the rural communities. have the commodity, we tend to not plan for the future. Otherwise, we should have been planning years ago. You don't start thinking about reality until you start seeing, you know, the writing on the wall. Water is one thing, but you take a step back and you look at what's going on in the community and it's, it's, it's heartbreaking. You gotta be grateful for the people that are, are there, you know, from dusk to, to dawn, or even later than that. When those stores close their doors, we're really gonna be hurting in that little community. You know, where are our kids are gonna be able to go to go get a snack. And when people didn't have money, I started to uh, run the tape with them. Some people, they pay me back. Some people, they can't because it no work. OK, Kenny, thank you. Thank you. We'll see you next time, huh?
When you know the big boss, when they can't make no money in a work, it's hard to get, say, you know, pay me my money back. And you know, they don't have it. We lost a lot. Sometimes we think, I, I don't know what to do anymore. And then we just keep going. Anything helps, you know, anything helps. Anytime someone puts a little bit more effort in the community, the community stands stronger. And you just hope that it, it grasps and it keeps moving forward. I would like my kids to take over the farm and keep it going, but if it continues to deteriorate, then the future is not bright in agriculture. The only thing we can do is sell more land, and that's like selling part of your part of yourself. There's no better life. It's not fast, there's not a lot of money in it, but it's a fair living. So it would really be sad for me to see this lifestyle come to an end. I hope the water's coming back. When the rain come back, I hope a lot of work and a lot of people come back. I really like living in this town. I don't want to leave this town. <laughs>